What is up my dudes and that one girl who just wants to keep things picture perfect. This is Bikes, Beards and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos are coming weekly. You ring the bell, you'll know when they drop. Let's get the other stuff out of the way. Want to save some money on a Cardo communicator or some Beyond Riders riding gear? Then you should definitely check my referral links down below. Want to support me and all my two grittiness like these cool guys here? Bam! Then you should become part of the Brew Crew and join the coffee page down below. Want to know why I'm asking you for money? Well, next to those 10,000 Amazon affiliate links that also go to a good cause is a link explaining what I do with your money. Get it? Got it? Good? Cool. Let's move on. All right, guys, so today we are doing a review on something that actually, if you've been paying attention to my channel over the last month or so, any of my ride videos, I've actually had this unit working and testing and seeing if I truly liked it. So uh, there's been a little Easter egg out there, but today we're gonna do the actual review of the Falcam F22 GoPro to DJI magnetic mount. And honestly, this is something that GoPro should have done a long time ago, and it's pretty embarrassing for GoPro that they haven't done it. However, that doesn't have to mean that GoPro users are left suffering. So let's get into this one because I think this is an absolutely awesome creation and like Falcam is just absolutely crushing it with this. So good on you guys, Falcam. Let's get into this. Okay guys, so for those of you not familiar with Falcam, it's actually an offshoot of the company Ulanzi. So if you've watched my videos for enough time, you've heard me talk about Ulanzi and I've actually done reviews on them because I have used Ulanzi for a few years now. They do make some really good products. They keep it in a great price point and that's really all you can ask for. Uh, the one that I actually use the most are these magnetic mounts. I normally use these for my GoPro. So you pop this onto your GoPro uh, you use your little thumb screw like normal and then you pop your base onto anything you want and then it's magnetic and it's a twist lock. I really like these. And Ulanzi has a couple different versions of this. This happens to be the one that I like the best. And uh, again, you watch my videos long enough, you've probably seen like this base sitting on the front of my helmet more than a few times because this is what I use for my front facing helmet. Also, when you look at my handlebars, my camera on there as well is using one of these bases and then it has the aluminum arm that it attaches to. It's, it's pretty standard. Like my handlebar camera is a set it and forget it sort of thing. And that's because I've used this base in that aluminum arm for like the longest period of time. And I just pop on the camera, tighten it, and I'm good to go. Really that second camera, that is all that is ever used for. So I've adjusted like its angle and that's where it lives. Now, normally when I'm using my GoPro, I'm also using the GoPro media mod. Now, some of the drawbacks to the media mod are it does cause your GoPro to overheat a little bit more. So when I'm doing these talking head videos, I've been using this media mod with my GoPro. And honestly, I'm in a race to try and do my video before my GoPro overheats. I've actually had my GoPro overheat a few times over the summer and I end up like taking a bag of peas or like an ice pack or something and laying it on top of my GoPro so it could cool off for 10 to 15 minutes before I come back and finish my video. Very frustrating. Very annoying, but here we are. So here's where the Falcam F22 comes into play. So right now, it is on this GoPro, and you may not see that too well, and that's because it's pretty low profile. It is right there. Now, when I originally saw the Falcam, I was going to engineer some crazy thing where I took that base and I either glued it down here or I did some sort of connection where it was going to be connected to my media mod and I was just going to use that going forth. But then I got to the point where I was like, okay, well, what's this media mod really doing for me? Originally, when I got into moto vlogging and whatnot, I had issues with the little adapter for the mic that, you know, makes the mic connect to the GoPro and it actually works. Um, you know, it's the GoPro mic adapter. It, it comes in about $50. So... I didn't want to use it anymore and I just found this to be easier because you can just plug your mic right into the media mod and you're good to go. 
What I didn't realize back then was GoPro prefers certain types of mic connections. So there's a TRS and there's a TRRS. I'll pop them there. One has two rings, one has three rings, one works with GoPro, one does not. So that was my big issue and I did not know that. However, when I went to this, everything worked really well, so I was good to go. Now I'm trying to move forward a little bit. So I looked at it and I was like, well, I don't really need this media mod anymore. It doesn't really do anything for me except cause headaches when it comes to heating issues. Now, just uh, let's take a, a break real quick. And I just want to say that I purchased this with my own money. All the things that I'm talking about here in this video, I purchased with my own money. No company has provided these uh, to me. I'm still going to offer you a fair and honest review. Um, but this is something that, you know, I went out, I saw a need for, I want it, I went out and got, and now I'm doing the review on it. All right, so now back to the Falcam. So, like I said, it is very low profile. Uh, you can get it over at the Ulanzi site. I'll try and throw a link down below. I don't have any discount codes because, again, this is not something that a company provided me. I bought this. However, Ulanzi always has some sort of discount code on their site. These come in at about $20, and you can definitely save a little money with whatever discount uh, Ulanzi has at the time. They're very simple to install. It's just four small screws, the same ones that hold the feet for your GoPro normally. I know for a fact this works on a 9, 10, 11, and 12. You might be on your own on the 8. I'm not entirely sure or anything previous to the 8, but at least from 9 on, this is going to work. Now, the cool thing about this is it just uses a magnetic base. Now, a lot of cameras have been switching to these magnetic bases, and GoPro has just decided that they're not gonna play this game. Even with the 12, people had anticipated some sort of update on the feet. GoPro just said, we're not doing that, it's not happening, but we'll uh, throw some blue specks into the case color uh, to make it look prettier. You're welcome. <laughs> so it's been very, very disappointing as a GoPro user. So one of the things was getting this. Now, the cool thing about this is, again, it uses a magnetic base. Now, I tried to buy some generic Amazon magnetic bases, thinking I could save a few bucks. Overall, this is basically just the DJI base, but for some reason, it doesn't fully click into this mount. It, it just does not fit, like the arms don't grab correctly on the sides. So I just went to DJI and I bought a few of their magnetic bases. These come in at 15 bucks a piece. I'm sure if you keep an eye out around holidays and stuff like that, you can find some discounts on these as well, but these do the job. They lock right in and it is fantastic. It stays on there. Your camera's not going anywhere. I have had this on my helmet. I currently have a base right here. And I have had this up to 110 miles an hour and it is not going anywhere. It stays firm. The camera has had no issues. And for me, that is fantastic. The great thing about the magnetic bases is just a quick pinch comes right off. You're not dealing with these thumb screws. These are so annoying. Now I know I said I had these round bases before and they work really well and it usually sits right here. Uh, one of the things I didn't like, honestly, it was just an aesthetic sort of thing. People have seen my helmet when I don't have a camera on and they're like, oh, it looks like you're trying to pack a bong or something. And I'm like, dude, I don't know, man. So like, it's just been one of those things where I don't like the way this looks when it's off the helmet. I actually don't mind this block as much like this kind of, I don't know. For me, this is more aesthetically pleasing. For you, it might not matter, and I definitely encourage you to check out these bases because I've, like I've said, I've used these for years. They're fantastic. Uh, nothing against them whatsoever, and they're right about the same price point. But then you're dealing with the thumb screws and stuff like that, so you know, tit for tat, whatever. This, I've said it, I forget it. It's gonna click on. I'm good to go. Now, obviously with this change, I made a few other changes as well. I went back to the GoPro mic adapter. Like I said, you can get that off of the GoPro site for about $50, although they always have sales and stuff. So again, you can save a little bit of money. If you're not in a rush for a huge upgrade or an overhaul to your system right now, you could piece this together a little bit cheaper if you're just patient. The other thing I had to do is with the media mod, you actually have to remove the door from your GoPro. So I've not actually really used a door on my GoPro in forever. However, with the actual mic adapter, um, it really just uses the USB port. So it leaves your battery exposed. 
So I needed to get around that as well. So what I did is I just ordered an aluminum door from Amazon that actually has a little flap that opens up for when I want to use the USB-C port while still keeping my battery protected. Now this does not make the GoPro 100% um, waterproof to whatever levels GoPro claims it's at normally, but it does help you, especially if you're caught in, you know, a light rain or things get a little damp. Obviously don't run this through a torrential downpour. Now back to the Falcam. There's a couple cool things that I've noticed about this while using it. Now with GoPros, they use the feet as part of the heat sink that actually helps to disperse some of the heat from the GoPro. And the feet are a bit smaller than this Falcam. The Falcam is also an alloy. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. It's a little bit larger, so it's gonna help you disperse a little bit more heat. I don't know, scientifically speaking, how much longer that's gonna buy you for time on your GoPro, but I do know that I've taken this thing off of like its base while I'm down here recording in like my little dungeon and this does get kind of hot so it's definitely doing its job and I think that is fantastic as well. A couple other things is if you get this base and you don't want to buy a bunch of these for like every adapter you have, you know, for your GoPro stuff, I get that. That would add up quite quickly and if you're like me, with this where you know you just want to pop it on set it forget it and so you're going to buy a couple you can also use a few other features that this falcam has this falcam is really well thought out one of the other things it has are feet <laughs> so you can still use anything you have gopro that requires like the feet and the screw no problem it just pops right in there so you are not throwing away all your old stuff and you're not required to buy like 12 of these depending on how many different places you put your gopro and how many different stands you use the other cool thing is it has a quarter inch screw on it so you can use this for like for tripod bases and stands and stuff like that that are using that quarter inch screw. So now you have three different ways to connect things to your GoPro with only one base. So you're not grabbing this and then you're grabbing another connector and then another connector. You can sit there, you can screw this onto a tripod, you can use your GoPro base with like your thumb screw, or you can just clip it in with the magnetic uh, part. That is fantastic. I like this so much, like this has been great. And honestly, um, I'm sure the question is, why don't I just take this, pop this on, screw it down, set it and forget it, like I've done with this and like I've done with this. Um, honestly, I could. The biggest issue that I had with that is, some of the GoPro stuff I do use requires the feet, so I would have to take this off when I need to use the feet. And also this isn't as low profile as this is. Like this does not really take up a lot of real estate on my GoPro. This would, I mean, you're gonna have that. That is a lot more and I don't like that. So overall, I've just kind of given up on using the Media Mod for the time being. Cause honestly, I don't take the GoPro off and use uh, a selfie stick and do my camera like that. I actually use my phone for that because my, my camera phone is fairly comparable to what a GoPro does and seems to handle it quite well. Okay, so just to sum this all up, uh, before any sort of coupons or discount codes, you're looking at $20 for the Falcam base, you're looking at $13 for the GoPro door, you're looking at $15 for the mic adapter for your GoPro, and then you're looking at about $15 for one of these DJI bases. Again, you can get all this stuff cheaper if you just do a little bit of like hunting, little, little patience, wait for the holidays, stuff like that, no problem. But if you're looking to overhaul your GoPro setup, if you're looking to have a little less bulk on the front of your helmet, if you're looking for stuff like that, if you're just looking for a change and maybe upping your game a little bit, this is something I would definitely recommend checking out. I have absolutely enjoyed using this probably for about the last month or so. That's about the amount of time I've had this on my helmet. I've been testing it. I've been using it. It has been 
great. And I've also noticed a few less heating issues when I'm down in the dungeon filming with this camera. Because this really, this one right here is my main camera. This is the one that I do all my filming on. My second camera, which I'm actually utilizing today out of necessity, uh, is the one that it goes on my handlebars and that's it. That is all it does. Nonetheless, do you have this base? Are you interested in this base? Are you like, hallelujah, finally there's a magnetic base for GoPro. GoPro, why haven't you done this yet? Let me know, sound off in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. I definitely encourage you to go out there and look around for other reviews because you shouldn't get just one point of view when making changes, especially when all this adds up to probably a little under $100. You know, money's tight everywhere. Make sure you're making the right decisions. Go but if you do wanna hook a brother up, I'm going to look these up on Amazon and I'll probably include the links down below so you can buy them through there. I'll make like three cents off of the deal. It's going to go into my annual toy drive. It's not something I pocket, but you know, again, hook a brother up and be much appreciated. That's what I got for you today. So yeah, let me know down below and don't forget to like comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one dork you know who's like, I am so sick of you saying thumb screws, just please make them stop. He loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.